You actually got to play not one, not two, but three Olympic, uh, on three different Olympic Australian teams. And therefore, that means that you may not have played the original dream team, mm. but you got to play your LeBrons, your Iversons, Kobe? Uh, Kobe didn't play, no. We had, um, on that first team we played against, had Barkley, um, Tim Duncan, Scotty Pippen, uh, Shaq. Gary Payton, John Stockton, mm. uh, unbelievable list. <laughs> and the, I remember going into that game, because these are all guys I'd grown up watching, yeah. and on telly, they're all worth 20, 30 mil a year, <laughs> uh, our piddly little sum that we were worth. <laughs> and it was the only game I've ever gone into where I've gone, I just want to get the ball over half court. <laughs> I just don't want to lose the ball. That was the kind of mindset I had. So that was the advantage that they had over everyone, is that they'd already beaten us before we'd hopped on the court. Psychologically. Um, That's what you say when you play against me, don't you? So I, just want to the, I just want to get the ball over half court. <laughs> Here comes Andrew Payton. I mean, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> but when we played them kind of each Olympic year, and 04 we played them again, and they had uh, LeBron, Duncan, Iverson, uh, Carmelo Anthony. They had a, another list of amazing players, but... Our confidence had grown. A couple of European teams had knocked them off. Uh, so we thought we were a chance, and we led it for three and a half quarters. They only overran us in like the last five minutes. Wow. So we, we only just missed out on beating them. And I actually, in that Olympics, got to play a lot more than I did the first two. And so I played a fair bit against them and scored, and um, it was a huge thrill. So who, who were you matched up against in those in those games because you were playing point weren't you yeah so in that first one i didn't play much but against payton and stockton mm. uh and then payton the, that would have been a nightmare yeah it was yeah yeah <laughs> i remember dribbling and he's right in front of me i turned he's right in front of yeah. me yeah <laughs> and, that no, they didn't call him the glove for nothing he was ridiculous and stockton was the same he was um that's so talented and then in the next one uh they had iverson Hmm. And they had, uh, oh, can't remember who the other guards were. That they're impressive, whoever they were. <laughs> Funny how you remember Iverson, though. But, yeah, I remember him just a couple of moves, and uh, did he get because you? they didn't have many. He didn't, um, but they didn't have many outside shooters. So uh, it was only really him and Stephen Marbury, I think, was there, mm. and Carmelo Anthony. They were the only three we identified as being really good outside shooters. The rest were slashers. So it was one of the few games in international competition where I've been, our team was told, we're going to play a zone against them and we're going to pack it in and just dare them to shoot Force it. Them to shoot. And if they hit, they hit. They miss. If them. they miss, and they were missing. And right through that Olympics, they shot the ball terribly. So that kind of helped us. The only reason they overpowered us in the last quarter is they got into the open court and mm. those guys in the open court are unstoppable. Mm. <laughs> They're fun to watch. You nearly turn it over just to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed uh, to be chasing that dude. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was good fun. And do you have like a memorable moment like on the court, whether it was you got someone or someone got you? Uh, well, I remember I hit three threes in the last game against us. So I remember those, but I remember on the other flip side of that, in my first time I played them, uh, I went for a three-point shot and Scotty Pippen just tapped my elbow as I shot it and the ball went 100 miles an hour straight at the back. They'd landed about the three-point line. It was way off. And then I got one more op try to score in that game. I got a steal, no one in front of me, and I was screaming down the court. I look over my shoulder and there was Scotty Pippen again, like three feet behind me. Uh. And so I jumped, threw it up, clanged it off the backboard <laughs> again. So I thought he's going to block this into the fifth row. Yeah. Um, so that was my time. So, yeah, it was good. The, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah.